Hello everyone, my name is Ibrahim Siddiqui. Today we are going to learn how to create data table in our database in SQL Server Management Studio. In our last tutorial, we have created two databases. So let me open our SQL Server Management Studio. Here it is. I have opened my SQL Server Management Studio. In our SQL Server Management Studio, we have created two databases. One is new database from wizard and another one is new db from query so now we are going to learn how to create a database from wizard as well as from query so let me start first with the wizard as soon as i maximize the db database you will get a, you'll be getting an option a table over here you just have to right click over here and say new table it is going to open new wizard again in this wizard you just have to write the column name and the data type so the column name for example my table name is of employee so i say employee id and id will be an integer that will be a data type and i don't want any null value to be inserted in my id so i uncheck over here second uh, name will be the second field and I want wildcat and it cannot be null because it's a name and the second third one will be salary and I want salary in decimal so wherever if you want to enter the money or rupees or any statement like this so you will select decimal that is the best part of it so, and after selecting of the frame you just have to say control s so it's it will ask to enter the name of your table so i say employ detail so here is employ details this is the name of my table so i just hit enter so my table is ready and the another way to create a table is through query so I'll say new query create table and the table name table name will be just say employee and we'll add whatever field we want so after creating this we'll say what all column we want we want id that will be of integer format then then name of the employee that will be in where care and where care with the size of 50 and the third one is salary with the data type of decimal in decimal we will say 18 by 0 okay so here our query is ready after writing a query you just have to say execute so make sure you have selected the proper database if i execute directly uh, without checking my database <coughs> so it is going to store uh, it is going to create a table in the this database that is new database from wizard so i don't want my table to be created in this database so i'll select new db from query that is my another database and say execute so command completed successfully means our table is ready let's check so if we go in new database from wizard let's see our table here is our table and let me check in our query table also query database also here it is so our database ready if we want to check so we can say right just right click over here select top 1000 rows so it is going to show me this or else this is from wizard uh, if you want to write a query for getting the details you can say select star from table name that is employee and select this query and say execute So we have to select the uh, database here also so new database from query now it's going to run say execute here it is so 
so guys thank you very much in our next video we are going to learn how to insert a data in our database uh, in our table how to update data insert update and delete thank you very much have a nice day keep coding and keep enjoying